So we continue ahead and 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 we, we get a question like this. Prove that two into two. This is two. This is multiplied by right. This is multiplied by this is not point. It's not two point seven to the power n. This is two into into seven to the power n, right? So plus three into five to the power n again. This is not three point five to the power n. Minus five is divisible by twenty-four. Okay. Okay. So how do we solve such problems? How do we solve such problems? We we do the, follow the same procedure, right? Here. Your statement P n is what? Statement is that 2 into 7 to the power n plus 3 into 5 to the power n minus 5 is divisible by 5. This is your statement, right? Okay. You get the point? Now what do we do? What have we seen? We have to prove that P1 is true. That is the first thing that we do. Because that sets the trigger. Right? So so what happens is, is we we say that P1, which is what? 2 into 7 to the power 1 plus 3 into 5 to the power 1 minus 5 is divisible by 5, right? A and B. See, this is 14 plus 15 minus 5. So, is divisible by 5. I'm sorry. It's not 5. It is. It's not 5. The question is, it is divisible by 24. So, by, by 24. 24. Okay. So this is 14 plus 25, 29 minus 5, 24 is divisible by 24. This is the statement P1. Is it true? Yes. Which is, which is true. So what do we get? <coughs> we get, get that P1 is true. Correct? We say that P1 is true. True. Okay. Fine. What next? We assume that. Let us assume that. Let us assume that. That P K is true. That is the statement is true for N is equal to K. That is. And what is P K? PK statement means means 2 into 7 to the power n plus 3 into PK, right? This PK, no longer PN. So n has to be replaced by, by k. So it's 2 into 7 to the power k plus 3 into 5 to the power k minus 5 <coughs> is divisible by 24, right? It's divisible by 24. <clears throat> now what? We have to prove that. We have to prove that that P K plus 1 is true. Whenever we assume that, that N is equal to K is true, we have to prove that P K plus one is true, right? So, 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 and I have asked you to always, always write that which is to be proved. That gives you, that gives you a vision. That gives you an insight how to move about it. So, P K plus one is what? P K plus one is is two into seven to the power K plus one plus three into five to the power K plus one minus five is true. Okay. Now, what do we have to do? 
within this, in such questions, earlier when, when we were supposed to prove something in terms of n on the LHS and something in terms of n, there, there were n terms, right? And, and something in, in terms of n was appearing on the RHS, we used to, to take this and then by say some suitable addition or something, we used to try to make the LHS of this, the LHS of this equal to the LHS of PK plus 1, right? This is what we did in last questions. Here, here you start from here, but try to take this out, right? Try to, to, to take this out of this. Understand? So let us try to do that. Here things are in terms of k, k. So the first thing, so, so pk plus 1 is what? Now, now so, so we start with this. Now, 2 into 7 to the power k plus 1 plus 3 into 5 to the power k plus 1 minus 5 is equal to 2 into 7 to the power k into 7. Correct? It is 7 to the power 1, so, so multiply it becomes this. Plus 3 into 5 to the power k into 5. And minus 5. Right? Correct? Now what? Now what? How do we proceed? So, so what is this? I need this. This is 7 times 2, 7 times 2 into 7 to the power k. While here I need only 1 times 2 into 7 to the power k. Right? So what do we do? I write this as, this as, this as, Okay, so we write this as, <coughs> there are two ways to proceed. <coughs> One of the ways is that this is 5 times this. This is 5 times this, correct? Okay, 5 times this. So I take a 5 times this here as well. So what I do, I take 5 times 2 into 7 to the power k. What is left out? This was 7 times 2 into 7 to the power k. So I am still left out with 2 times 2 into 7 to the power k. Is that clear? No? Not clear? Not clear? What have I done? Here I have written this as, as let, me, let me do it in a little color. So, So, so what do we have? We have, we have 7 into 2, so 2 plus 7 is 7 into 2 into 7 to the power k gives 2 plus 5 into 2 into 7 to the power k, which is, which is kind of this 5 into 2 into 7 to the power k plus 2 into 2 into 7 to the power k. Understand? This is how I bifurcated, bifurcated it. Plus 5 times uh, plus 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 5 times 3 into 5 to the power k. Get that? That's okay. Now what? What is this? Minus 5 times 5. Okay. Plus 4 times 5. No? 
Why did I do that? Because, because, just move a step ahead. I want to pull this 5 out of it. And I want this, this, within. I have to use this some, somehow. I, I, I'm sorry, not this. The truth of PK has to be used. Okay, I cannot proceed without that. So if I pull out 5 here, I get 2 into 7 to the power k plus 3 into 5 to the power k minus 5. This has to be incorporated here. Understand? Otherwise I won't be able to solve it. Then what do I get? Plus 2 into 2 into 7 to the power k plus 20. Correct? Did we get that? Okay, fine. Now, let me make some space. Now, this is true, is it not? This is divisible. If this is divisible by 24, it means it can be expressed as 24m, no? If it is divisible, and, and we have assumed it to be true, so, so this, this is safe. 5 times 24m plus, plus, what is this? This is 4 times 7 to the power k plus, 20. Okay. Okay. So, so I am okay with this. Now I have to check whether this is divisible by 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 24. Great. Now there is a thing called 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 binomial theorem. Okay. Which maybe you have not studied now and I will be expanding it with, with the help of that. So, so, so this becomes 5 into 24m plus 4 times this expansion is, is 5 of this. See, what it says is, what, what the binomial says is this, 1 plus x to the power n is equal to 1 plus n c 1 x plus n c 2 x square plus n c 3 x cube up to x to the power n x to the power n this is n c say r is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial okay what is r factorial what is 2 factorial we start from 2 reduce it reach till 1 so 2 factorial is 2 what is 3 factorial it is 3 reduce 3 by 1 2 reduce 2 by 1 1 this is equal to 6 right this is equal to 6. Now, 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 what if it is 4 factorial? It is 4, reduce it by 1, 3, reduce it by 1, 2, reduce it by 1, 1. This is 24. This is what a factorial is. Okay, you learn, learn this when we do the permutation and combination. Permutation and, and combination chapter. And, and combination chapter. And we learn this when we do do a binomial theorem chapter, right? When we do the binomial theorem chapter.
Don't be scared, right? They are easy to understand. So, so you understand? Instead of x, we have we have six, and instead of n, I have k. So I can write this as one plus n not n not n, which has to be which has to be which has to be k c one. 6 to the power 1, right? Plus kc2, 6 to the power 2, plus dot dot it goes to 6 to the power n, and then plus 20. Now, which is 5 into 24m plus, there is a 4 here, this is 20 there, and there is a 20 here, right? So, 4 plus 20 is 24, plus 4 times 6 into kc1 plus 4 times 6 I have, I have taken out 1 6 into kc2 into 6 and so so I'll have no dearth of 6 right there, there's no scarcity of 6 with me and one at least 1 6 will come out right 4 into 6 into 6 to the power n minus and, and the moment I have a 4 multiplied by 6, all of them are 24. Is that okay? This 24, this 24, 24, 24, 24. So, so all the terms will have a 24 with it. So it is 24m plus if I take out 24, I get 1 plus kc1 plus kc2 into 6 plus kc3 into 6 square and until till. 6 to the power, 6 to the power, this is k minus. This is, this is, this is k. 6 to the power k minus 1. So this also, this is some number, right? This some number which is not a fraction. So, so this is 5 into 24m. This is 24 into, say, p. Are both of these divisible by 24? They are. So, so this right, which is divisible by divisible by twenty-four. Get that? This is divisible by twenty-four, and hence is is the whole thing is divisible by twenty-four. And as I told you, there is a there is a last statement that is to be written. Hence, by the principle of hence by the principle of mathematical induction. The statement Pn is true for all natural numbers, all natural numbers n. Right? We get the point?